Welcome to Cleaning Moments with Linda. My name's Linda Pierce and I'm a Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. And today in this video, I'm going to go through with you the many options Norwex have made available for you to use in your kitchen. I am often asked at parties, Linda, what's the difference between a Norwex Enviro cloth and a kitchen cloth? And so maybe that's a really great place to start. An Enviro cloth is the product Norwex started with. It's a heavy duty cleaning cloth. It's a very tightly woven microfiber and it does contain our backlog antibacterial agent. However, I've found that this isn't so great to use for cleaning up particles of food for wiping a dirty sink down or a cooktop down because the little particles of food can get caught in the fibres and our fibres are so good at holding on to organic matter that uh, sometimes we find that envirocloths used in the kitchen on food surfaces can get smelly really, really quickly. So Norwex may not say don't use an envirocloth in the kitchen, but my advice would be to you, only use an envirocloth in a kitchen when you're wiping over a food-free surface. Instead, I would say to use a kitchen cloth, you can see the multitude of colors we have available now in our kitchen cloth range, use these to wipe up any areas, uh, any food preparation areas, so your kitchen bench, um, your cooktop if you've got um, food particles on there, um, your kitchen sink and your dining room table. These have a different weave to the Enviro cloth. So these channels allow the food to be rinsed out a little more easily than in the Enviro cloth. Uh, now there's a lot less fiber in a kitchen cloth than there is an, an, in an Enviro cloth. So the more fiber you have in a cloth, the more cleaning power you have. So less fiber means a cheaper cloth and less cleaning power than an Enviro cloth, but it's totally fine to wipe your bench and your sink down, etc. cetera. So uh, kitchen cloths will replace your um, everyday kitchen cloths that you might be um, using and your spray cleaners. And uh, they're a very, very popular, really the most popular kitchen product we have in our range. Now to add um, a little bit more choice. <laughs> Norwex uh, last year added the counter cloths to the range. Now counter cloths do exactly the same job as a Norwex kitchen cloth. They're just smaller and I'll show you the difference in size. And they are a different weave. This uh, popcorn weave, Norwex call it, is possibly a little more absorbent than the kitchen cloth. Um, but it is, yeah, used for exactly the same jobs. It's just for that, that person who likes a slightly smaller cloth than the kitchen cloth. So this is all about just giving you options and catering to personal preference. So counter cloths come in a set of three, uh, or you can buy the whole, um, the, the six cloths with the little house. The house, if you've not seen the counter cloth video, maybe um, find that uh, individual mini moment video on my YouTube channel, but a lot of people love to hang their counter cloths over the top of the house like that as they dry off. Moving from there, and actually I will say that both the um, kitchen cloth and the counter cloth both contain backlock, so you have got that antibacterial feature. Now, someone who... Um, maybe doesn't attend a Norwex party and hasn't watched any of my videos, might look at the catalog and think, oh, the all-purpose kitchen cloth, that's the one I need to wipe down my kitchen benches and my cooktop, etc. and this is gonna be a great everyday cloth. I actually don't recommend this as an everyday cloth though, uh, because it doesn't contain backlock. So this cloth is going to get smelly faster than the other cloths in our, um, the other cloths that I've talked about so far, because it doesn't have the silver to keep that bacterial odor and mold at bay in your cloth. This is a completely different weave and yarn to the other um, fibers I've shown you. And it's, so it's a waffle weave. And this cloth is ideal for picking up heavy duty grease. So you might decide um, one day that you're gonna get to it and clean that 
greasy oven. And so you'd use this in conjunction with the spirinets and with our oven and grill cleaner. You can use this to wipe your really greasy range hood, um, your barbecue, your top of your kitchen cupboards that you haven't cleaned for two years where you can get an accumulation of grease that seems to get dry and really sticky. So um, once you've used this for cleaning those really grungy jobs, I would then um, just Put this maybe in some hot water with a little bit of laundry powder, give it a bit of a hand wash, and then um, you can just pop it straight into the washing machine. But don't have this uh, as an everyday kitchen cloth. So then you might be wondering, well, what do I wash up with? There are a few options Noex have for you in this regard. And for years, Noex consultants here in Australia and New Zealand were recommending that uh, our customers use a kitchen cloth for washing up, despite the fact that Norwex themselves weren't recommending the kitchen cloth for that job. But we didn't have any other options at that time. And, and we found the kitchen cloth worked really well and it does contain the backlog. So that helped with the odor. Uh, but the kitchen cloths are very good at holding on to organic matter. And if you do find that your kitchen cloths uh, are smelling really quickly after a wash, then I recommend that you go and watch my deep cleaning your microfiber video uh, here on my YouTube channel. So these days, what I recommend for washing up are the Norwex dishcloths. Now you can purchase these in a set of two, so a set of two graphite or two blue. And these are a netted cloth and they're quite large, whoops, they're quite large, but, uh, and you'd think, how on earth am I gonna use that for washing up? It's really big. But the good news is that it scrunches up into a ball like this and you can get this into really tight nooks and crannies. In fact, my husband makes his own kombucha and he puts fresh fruit in there and the narrow necked bottles that he uses are really hard to clean. And he would say to me, just shake it, shake it up with a bit of water and detergent, but I never found that got the inside of the bottles clean. And so all I do is I actually poke this cloth through the neck of the bottle. And then once it's inside the bottle, I just twist the cloth and it cleans the inside of the bottle perfectly. These also will get, um, baked on food off casserole dishes. You can use them on greasy fry pans. They'll get tea and coffee stains out of cups. You can use them uh, on your bench top if you've been baking and you've got flour. These will pick up everything with ease. They rinse out perfectly. And uh, the other thing that I love about them is that they don't have to be washed very often. In fact, the one I've owned, I've wa only washed once in 18 months and I actually regretted washing it because the edges got a little bit fluffy when I did that. So now whenever I feel like it's feeling greasy or it's Actually, I've never known mine to be smelly, but sometimes just a bit greasy. I just use a little bit of hot water and dishwashing liquid and just give it a bit of a hand wash. I rinse it out and it's good to go again. And uh, I actually don't have to do that very often. So it's a really fantastic um, cloth and it dries quickly because of the material it's made from as well. My husband did use it on the barbecue, it did work a treat wasn't so great for the cloth. The cloth was pretty bad afterwards. Uh, but again, just some dishwashing liquid and hot water fixed it. So yeah, totally love the dish cloths. And then if you like a sponge for washing up, Noix have a couple of options for you there. And uh, the first is the Enviro sponge. So these come in a pack of two and they have Enviro cloth fabric on one side and a scrubby fabric on the other. So some people like to use these, say for example, they have something boil over uh, while they're cooking. They can use this side just to scrub up that baked on food, then use the EnviroCloth side to wipe that up. Uh, but for someone who likes a sponge for washing up, these are um, very durable compared to other brands of sponges. I've had some great feedback about these and just people love how they have that dual purpose. You can also purchase Spira sponges. These are a bit cheaper than the Enviro sponges as these don't contain any microfiber. But again, um, they're 
reported to be longer lasting than other brands my customers have used. Both EnviroSponge and Spirosponge are safe to use on Teflon. And the other uh, thing that you can use for washing up are the Spirinets or the Mighty Mesh Pot Scrubber. Now, these shouldn't be used on Teflon, but if you've got you know, ceramic cookware that, or stainless steel pots and pans where you've had food baked on, then these can be really good for that. The Mighty Mesh Pot Scrubber, uh, again, it's a, a little more expensive because you've got the addition of the handle. Some people tell me that that is so totally worth paying because the handle helps protect their nails. The last product I want to share with you is called the kitchen scrub cloth. Now here in Australia and New Zealand, we recommend that you be careful about how you use this cloth in the kitchen because if you use it to clean pots and pans, then you'll find the cloth will stain and it will be virtually impossible to get those stains out. If you're watching uh, from another country where you can purchase the bathroom scrub mitt, you'll know that the bathroom scrub mitt is made with one side kitchen cloth fabric. And so here in Australia, we say use the kitchen scrub cloth to clean those scummy areas of your bathroom. And then in your kitchen, use it to clean your kitchen sink with a little bit of cleaning paste sometimes if you need that. I've got a video about that one too. And apart from that, just use it in your bathroom. So I hope this video has been helpful to you and has helped you uh, clarify what cloth you can use for what purpose in your kitchen and in your home, and also to help you work out which product might suit your personal preferences. If you have any questions regarding these or any other products in the Norwex range, then please feel free to contact me via my website, lindapierce.com.au, or contact your Norwex independent sales consultant. Mm -hmm.